Oh, I guess I'm supposed to skip that. Uh, you can zoom and rotate the camera. Thank you, video game. Ooh. I, I, so I like isometric games, and I really like uh, real-time tactics games. And this is a isometric real-time tactics game. Picture point, what up? How things? I hope things good. ADP suspect crypt there. Why, why, why are you suspect? Why are you all sus? Pan the camera, I see. So this game uh, it was just ported to consoles, which is why they're sending out copies of this game to streamers and people to make videos. So we're just going to be kind of going through and having a peek at the game because I'm, I'm just curious. Just curious to have a look. And thank you very much for the 15th month. Welcome back, Picture Point. Uh, click to move. Move here. Have no fear. Ooh, dudes. Uh, your character will now auto-attack to the closest enemy in weapon range. Do not click on the enemy. Wait, what? Sit back and let your character do the job. Chill equal kill. I'm assuming I'm supposed to move. Okay. Signed Elise. Hell yeah! Well, that sounds busy. Are you going to be streaming at all this week, or are you just, like, moving? Moving, moving. Um, also, yeah, yeah we're, we're fine. Attacking with melee strikes works just like guns, but you need to get close enough. Uh, don't click the enemy. Click on the ground next to them. Oy vey. That's quite the gun. <laughs> wow, you literally cut that person in half. There's bones sticking out of that. Gnarly. I like it. Uh, it's time to go all ninja. Use stealth mode to increase. Okay. Shortcut is X. So click on little button or click X. Wow. That's like literally they fall to pieces. I like that the swords are not waffle bats. Press E to kick the raider away. And then they, she just executed him. Nice. Click on him to get loot. Okay. Press control to highlight the active objects. Oh. Now collect the three active weapons. Flamethrower. Whatever that is. A quadraboom. Minigun. A toilet plunger. <laughs> I like that the toilet plunger is a weapon. Okay, okay. So once again, this 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 game just recently got ported to consoles. So you can, uh, if you're interested in trying this out, and you happen to own a console, maybe go search up for some Dustwind. And uh, from now on, I'm just going to be talking about the game as a PC sense because that's how I'm playing it. Click to loot. All right. Loot all. Okay, so that's my inventory. Done. Pretty comprehensive little tutorial, too. But yeah, no, a lot of people recommended this game to me when I was playing a bunch of Brigador. Uh, because I quite like Brigador. Right click to reload. Okay. Okay. Bursts in other areas and shotguns will hit your teammates. Ooh, friendly fire. Medicine skill. Heal teammate. Press Q to quickly heal yourself. All right. Door is locked. Uh, it's because it wants me to press Q to heal myself. Well, I'm... You will see serious injuries in your character portrait. Uh, it can be used by healing. Oh, I see. Okay, so I need to literally be doing nothing else. Press E to go Spartan on the raider. <laughs> So, chat, how's this looking to you guys so far? Because I'm pretty curious to see what this ends up being like. Hey, Pablo Rasta. Oh. I found the help button, the H button. Uh, stealth move here. Press X. <laughs> okay. Drag to inventory. What do you want me to do? Wait, 
what it what does it want me to do? Flamer is out of ammo. Let's drop it first and then open your inventory. Okay. Drop it. Okay, I understand what it wanted me to do. Let's drop it and then equip a new weapon. Click the lock pick to pick the door. That's pleasant. Reminds you of Fallout 2. A little bit. I think it's more mission based. Oh, grenade. Okay. Grenades too. Uh, different kind of grenade. Yeah, why? Well, I, I mean, visually, it reminds me of Fallout 2. Gameplay wise, not so much. Uh. I mean, throw two grenades in the same room? I mean, yeah, the, the visuals feel kind of fallout -y, but... S will interruption, any action, not just movement. Okay, so S is like a stop thing. Oh, so when you want to stop and shoot, just spam S. Uh, well, I mean, we're in tutorials, so that's that's why that's why you haven't seen much outside of tutorial. Fight your way through raiders, and uh, reach the garage door. Use S to stop and kill when you see them. Use X to stealth. Use grenades with two. Uh, use both your weapons. Uh, use the burst mode on your gun with the, with D, and then heal your and heal yourself when you're hurt with contr control to find better guns lying around. All right, so let's uh, get to the exit. Eh. Hmm. You're an axe raider. Can I get your axe? Oh no shit, eh? I have a I like how I just have a toilet plunger in my inventory. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's a nano pack. Small nanobot infusion designed to heal armor. Mm. Wonder if there's cover. There's a rookie raider right there. Well. <laughs> he just broke in the wall. Let's heal. Hey. Well, that grenade needs a bit more range, I think. That guy had a shotgun, that hurts. Burst is for that. Okay. Yeah, that's more effective. I understand why it's telling me to switch to burst instead of, uh, this. Let's take the extra med kit from you. And heal myself. Let's just tap Q to heal instead of holding it. AI needs help. This is true. Although this is the tutorial, so I'm gonna hold all judgments on the AI until we're done with the tutorial. Open the door, which is locked. Okay, well, we've completed that. Right mouse button on the gr ground there to fire a rocket launcher. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the AI does need help, but uh, for right now, it seems fine. You're too slow to auto attack in the sneaky raider. Right click on the floor near him before he comes out. Let's 
So you can just like blind fire. Okay, I see. I click on this guy to shoot him first instead of auto attacking. Like they they are sending a lot of like information to the player here all at once, which leads me to believe that the game's probably not easy once you get into it. You have a good night, Pasta. All right. Pick up the repair kit. Okay. It's a hot key for that. I'm sure there is one. Four. Suddenly a friendly dog appears. Let's make uh, it our designated gunner. You can... Dogs are really smart and can do tons of cool stuff. Including... This game must be made by a dog owner. Uh... Oh, switch Ash to the driver's seat. Okay. And switch the dog to the gunner seat. Um. Everyone in the car can access inventory. To drive the car, uh, you must have the driver selected. Okay, so the dog can shoot. That's kind of great. Seems like you can just, like, drive over people, which is pretty good. Eh. Good stuff. We are indeed giving a dog a gun. Sideways. We are indeed giving the dog a gun. Uh... This is just the tutorial, so game is just like fast loading information for me. There must be something here that I don't actually know about. Setting mines, move here. Uh oh. I'm not very good at setting mines. Eh. Let's try kiting you to the mine. Come to the mine! Ooh, I found an axe. <laughs> Got him! <gasps> you know what this game seems to be missing so far? Uh, it certainly seems to be missing uh, a bop and soundtrack. Like, if I were to have any early complaints about this? Could really use a, 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 a bop and soundtrack. I've got more, so I'm going to place them anyway, even though it's not telling me to. Uh, click detonate on your explosives. Okay. This guy has no head left. He must be missing a mine. Okay. Oh, jeez. I didn't even see you. Yeah. I almost blew myself up. Oh, he's trying to get his thing. Angry raiders rush at the trapper, and she blows them all away. Uh, I guess that there's a detonate all button? You know, this UI kind of reminds me of Fallout 2. Click on a mine to, dis to attempt to disarm it. Disarmed and took the trap. Place it here. Right click on the 
Right click on the mine to axe murder it. Do it. I mean, that seems unwise, game. Okay, so shooting mines, smart. Axe murdering mines, not smart. Got it. Please tell me the dog's in the gunner seat. Oh. Okay, so... Drive and then switch to the gunner seat to... Well. Daka? Anytime! Or don't. <laughs> Crunch. They lived? My ass. I like how they're calling this a car when it's clearly an armored vehicle. Uh, oh, I see. Scout was indeed in the thing. Hmm. Armored car. Yeah, armored vehicle. Press shift to see inside buildings. Okay. Oh, shit. And you can, like, also see the different layers. Yep, already figured that much out. You know, I wonder if this is one of these games where people give it bad reviews uh, if they don't play the tutorial. Because <laughs> there's a lot to this. Because this game does have mostly positive reviews. Which, you know, is, is kind of enough to be like, eh, on Steam. Sniper Tower. I'm really curious to see what the actual game itself looks like. Hover over the raider. All right. You can see your chances hit, can you? Zero chance to hit. Okay. Your chance to hit is below 33%. Your character won't even bother trying. Crouch down. 25%. But still no chance to hit. I've done that. Um, can't do that in this. Let's just skip that one. Yeah, but Omori is also a type of game that I don't like. So I know I wouldn't like Omori, even though it's got good reviews. Let's repair a robot. What does it want me to repair now? Oh. You can repair buildings. Interesting. I mean, I'm still, like, you know, learning mechanics here. Oh, shit. Wow, there's, there, yeah, there is a lot to this. Grab the deployable turret. Where do you want me to put the deployable turret? Left click to build. Sure. Oh, I see. I also love the little character damage icon. That's kind of great. You can, like, target specific parts of the body. 
Here we go. Once you press continue, you have two minutes to prepare your defenses, and then raiders will attack. Don't worry. Two minutes is plenty of time to prepare everything you've learned so far. Uh, check your inventory. We gave you some cool stuff. All right. A rocket launcher, 50 cal. Let's just swap over to the minigun. Uh, is there other things I need? I don't really see anything else I can build. Uh, Steam's down for everybody. In North America, anyway. I'm assuming they're going to attack from over here. Just because of where it had me setting up the turrets. Uh, gate locked. But yeah, that's why I'm playing this instead of Steam, or instead of Avorion, is because Steam's down. Huh. So then if I click this... Interesting. Seems pretty intuitive. I think it's literally just the one barricade that I needed to build, so... And then I have this teammate who's controlled by the computer. Huh. I don't know how I made that fire, but I guess I did. Oh, that's a flamethrower. Okay. Let's just finish building this. Whoa! Jesus! I'm going to go stand back here so that this doesn't shoot me. Reloading. I'm assuming this is the end of the tutorial. That seems like a powerful gun. Ooh, let's swap over to that 50 cal. And that knife. Yeah, maybe the AI does need some work. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, do I not have ammo for it? There we go. Reload it. Like, why am I not shooting? Oh, because I have the 50 cal equipped. Let's go up to the, 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 the tower. There we go. I'm assuming there's got to be, like, some sort of active pause. So the game hasn't shown me yet. Yeah, I don't seem to have control over this guy whatsoever. It's like 90% ch hit chances. All right. Well, I think I guess we just wait for the fight to finish then. And then we can go play the actual video game. But so far, I do wish the soundtrack was a little bit more noticeable. But um, it's time to swap over to uh, Knife, I think. Ooh, Zappy Sword. <laughs> Splat. I have to reload my powered gun or my powered swing. That's kind of funny that the knife needs to be reloaded. Let's just go stand back here. 
Also, my teammate died. Oh, I'm assuming they would. This doesn't. This seems to be the kind of game where you're going to be scrounging a lot. All right. Well, we on the last wave, and they seem to have killed my. Can't hit too close. All right. Well. Swap to powered swing. Move away from grenade and just melee people. Maybe you're supposed to die here. Eh. Oh, hey, they're rezzing each other. That's funny. Concussed. <laughs> Chapter failed restarting. Oh, come on. Hmm. Can I control you at all? I guess not. Let's put the um, flame pulse turret here so it can hit them through the wall. and then not fire at it. You're gonna go start Dindor? Alrighty. We need to find pause, assuming there's a pause. There is like stop, forced back, forced back, Oh shit, there's like a ca camera speed, edge scroll mode. Can I? Camera rotation. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Tactical pause, there you go, space. Um, but it says in solo only. But I'm assuming there's multiplayer where, you, where you're not going to be tactical pausing. Yeah, I remember this game having a rough launch because there, there was a thing about it being multiplayer only, but it, it definitely has a campaign now. Um, I could also just skip the chapter. So if we fail this, we'll just skip and go into the actual game. <laughs> Looks like the wall has a hole in it. What do you mean the wall has a hole in it? Also seem to be able to deconstruct that barricade and just reconstruct it elsewhere. You know what? Let's repair you, because you're all damaged. I think that's the thing I should definitely do, is repair my turrets in between fights. Uh, we do have mines, but I'm not going to need them until the last fight, because the, the early waves were just fucking cakewalks, so I'm going to assume it's going to be the same as that. So if the early fights are all easy, I'm assuming it's, they're just going to be cakewalks until the last one, and then we'll throw down a bunch of mines and such. Oh, my friend just... This dude just fucking friendly fired me. Fuck you, man. <laughs> uh, maybe I just haven't unlocked said tactical pause yet because I pause doesn't seem to do anything in this map, so I'm not too worried though. All right, let's uh, quick healed. All right, no, that's not what I need. I need these. Let's just throw some mines down. Just a few. We have 20 seconds. Disarm that. Move it like here. Go up into that tower after I reload. Right, two seconds. Yeah. 
Yeah, putting it right there seems much more effective. The death sounds are pretty funny. I like them. Can I throw grenades from up here? No, I can't. All right, so they're attacking that through the wall. Or they're trying to attack the flamethrower turret through the wall, which is maybe a good thing. They did indeed teach us how to use them. Did I forget that I had them? Yes. Did I look that I have them? No. Am I bad at this? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Is this game probably difficult? Yes. I like how the character just kind of floats down the ladder. I'm going to throw a mine here. I also appear to be getting more, so... Let's get back up into that tower. Uh, it definitely seems like there's friendly fire. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, having that there seems pretty effective. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Right click to force fire. There we go. Oh, geez. They appear to be walking through that hole in the fence that was just made. So destructible terrain, eh? Let's reload. Swap over to the flamethrower. Let's go sit right here. That seems to be working. All right. So can I, um, repair that wall? Doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Well, at least I still have both my turrets. Uh, let's swap over to you now and the beam sword thingy. Reload both of those. Throw a grenade out. That seemed effective. God, that scream's funny. All right, so apparently, like, you know, throwing a grenade is helpful. Has it always been there? Okay, I did not see the hole in the fence. Ah, uh, now we're okay. Let's just try this. I'm sure we'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? We die a shitload. Our heroine hasn't always been brave. She was once an ordinary young woman who was responsible for her daughter. Times were dangerously tough. Hazards were plentiful. I don't know why, but I'm surprised that there's cutscenes. Was key. People need to eat. People need to drink. She and her loved one barely survived in such a harsh environment. Food was scarce, and when the hunger was too great, caution was cast to the wind. In a wasteland, every waking minute can change your destiny, often for the worse. The raiders trailed the small group for quite some time, watching from a distance, waiting for weak moments. When the time was right, they struck. These vicious and merciless predators attacked both our heroine and her daughter. They simply didn't have a chance. It's just like Dwarf Fortress, Dobson. I've heard that kicking sound before. I know what sound library that's from. In wake of the attack, the aftermath was terrifying with the child now gone. A dead body lying there with all meek possessions ripped away by the attackers. Delicious Wait, stone. Can it be? 
There is still life in this body. I was gonna say that doesn't look that dead. I mean, she's got like a tear in her pants, which is like not bad. Wake up. Bwomp, 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 bwomp. Time to go achieve vengeance. Excellent. Of course, his name's Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Who are you? I like how I'm just player. Can I rename player? Uh, I'm Jeffrey. Well, it looks, I, it looks like they thought you were dead. Who? But the the raiders that attacked you and kidnapped your wait what? Who did? Uh, the raiders that attacked you and killed your, your, your and kidnapped your daughter. I can't remember anything. Well, amnesia. <laughs> Naturally. Um. I kind of just want to skip the dialogue. I don't know. Uh, yeah, daughter. Can you even imagine how rare children are in the wastelands? Those two raiders beat you badly, and you got knocked out and lost your memory, it seems. Of course I did. One day you will get giant door, door, house cats and dwarf fortress, then you can eat. I mean, that'll be a lot of long. Although, I mean, a cat is pretty large compared to a dwarf. We, 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 we should know this. You, can you even imagine how rare children are in the wastelands? And those raiders beat you badly. And you got knocked out and lost your memory. I thought you were dead. But I wasn't sure. She doesn't even look damaged. Like, to be totally fair, like, she looks fine. You were waiting for what? Well, I'm hungry, and you were fresh. I mean, fair enough. Cannibal? What the fuck? <laughs> I like how that's the dialogue button. I Don't act so surprised. Sheesh. I'm not. At least I'm not a murderer. Food is scarce here. What am I supposed to do? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, loot the box. Okay. Uh, completed. Talk to strange man, and then now I have to loot the box. Okay. Uh, let's each let's help each other. Okay. My old camp was over there, so not far away. But some of the other raiders are blocking the way. I'm too old to fight them. Chat. I have a question. Does he look old? I mean, he's yeah, he's missing an eye, but like, aside from that, too old to fight them. <laughs> Where is the press to doubt? Uh, but you, you might be, you might stand a chance. Uh, I okay. So, lady that got beaten from an inch of her life versus guy that looks fine. Guy's too old to fight, but I might stand a chance. I'm not trying to poke too many holes in the logic of this, but like. I, I mean, in Japan, if you're older than 17, you're old. That's what anime has taught me, anyway. Um, you might stand a chance. Check out this box with some old sickle and light armor and take them out and kill the raiders. Okay. But what if I get injured? Uh, if, if you're hurt, come back to me. I can heal you. Okay. Um, all? Done? Okay. And weird metal jacket. It's okay. I have mohawk equipped. All right. Where am I headed? All right. Well, let's, let's, let's go for a run, shall we? I mean, he does have beard, but what does that have to do with anything? Oh, no, there's a half-naked man in pants coming at me. I need backup. You need dead. Ooh, bandages. Is that a small cookie? I'm starting to call bullshit about this so-called apocalypse. If food is so scarce, why does this guy have a snail-shaped cookie? Someone made this with love just for you. Yum, not for me, for the guy that I just killed. Also, where was he keeping that cookie? Uh, no, so I gave up. I have grenades, though. So we're playing this. Link. <laughs> Did I win? Lots of food over there, guy. 
been detected. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's uh throw that other grenade. Well, that was a waste of a grenade. Holy shit, there's a lot of people in there. Oh, more grenades. Convenient. In before these people are just like prisoners. <laughs> Sorry, but that, that's, that's hilarious. You know, Banana, you, you want to know a, a, a trick? It's a, a, a massive life hack, yeah? Um, look, scroll down on Twitch, and it'll tell you the name of the game. It's called Dustwind. Uh, this is a, a game that's been out for a little bit that's been on my wish list for ages, and uh, they very kindly sent me key. Um, force gate? Fence gate. Locked, indestructible. Okay. Anyway. Uh, they were kind enough to send me a key because uh, the, the, they, they ported the game to consoles. So I'm taking a look at it. I found more grenades. Are those just infinite grenades? I don't even know if I need to kill these guys. but I'm a bad person. Oh, so those are mutants. You're a raider. Okay, well, let's go kill the raider. Also... Uh, okay, there's there's your active pause. So you can, like, plan things out. I'm out of grenades. Sad days. I did not see that grenade go down. That hurt. Um. Let's just hit you. I suck at medicine, apparently. Also, go back to the original guy, because he can heal me. Where is Stranger? Let's run back over to him. They're food mu mutants, so don't worry, they're not people. Good to know. <laughs> or a good assumption. I I'm kind of making the same assumption. They're prisoners, not people. Please. This is the apocalypse. Oh, he healed. Did, can, can you heal me? Maybe. The AI seems smart. Okay. Touch me with your hands and make me feel better. And HP full. Let's go murder more thing. Standing on a grenade um, doesn't do good things for your health. They are indeed meat piles. Regard I mean, if even if they were humans at one point, they ain't they're not anymore because they're now dead. So, you know. Um chat, you can read that, right? Mutato. Multi tools, bandages, dirty bandages. Not to be confused with clean bandages. The superior bandages. All right, there's, a, there's another campfire over there. It's a mutato. Mutato, mutato is what I'm saying. Oh, Jesus. Let's go over here in stealth, or try to anyway. It's okay, I run faster than you do, lady. I need backup. You need to lose a limb. And give me your bow. Or crossbow? Nope. It's a rusted stingray slingshot. Oh. Raider Commander. You're still alive? Dude with funky glasses says... And then I scream in response, daughter? You must be the one that took my daughter. Where? Tell me where she is. Ah, uh, pointless. She's already far away. Besides, I didn't take her. My buddies did. Well, I mean, it would be really funny if she if he'd be like, yeah, she was in that, uh, that their cell that you just blew up. That's right, and she's gone. Yada, yada. All right, goodbye. Phew. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hi, Jesus. All right, well. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that he's stronger than me. Although he's almost dead, so. Is 
Did he just like run away for no reason? It seems like he did. Ooh, a steak. A rare roast, tender and juicy. If he could beat me, he's sure. Yeah, he certainly doesn't think he can. <laughs> this is true. There's a, a limb pack. Yeah, the AI seems um, intelligent. Oh Jesus! Speaking of intelligent. Um. <laughs> hmm. Did that kill me? No, it didn't. I win. I win. Got you in that close range. All right. Well, let's let's run all the way over here. Seems a little clunky. Twitch needs an audio sync button. Uh, play pause, and you won't get ads because you are uh, subscribed. Talk to Jeff. Wait, what? Did Jeff move all the way up there? Jeff, where'd you go? Oh, Jeff moved all the way over there. Uh, throw a grenade under foot of enemy and jump backwards does seem quite effective. Also, I'm healing slowly, so that's nice. Yeah, this does seem very fallout -y. Oh, jeez, I'm getting chased. I hope that my friendly can heal me before I die. Bud, get over here and heal me. While I auto-attack. I'm not dead, and you are, so keep praying to heal me. I can't get over the fact that his name's just Jeff. I don't know why I find that funny, but... It's like generic white guy name. Okay, just come and heal me, generic white guy name. Or, or don't. Hello. The way is clear. The gate is, but the gate is closed. Oh, it must be locked uh, by some kind of mechanism. Maybe there's a switch around here somewhere. All right. Reminder to save. Is this like... This definitely seems like a quick save, quick load game. Switch. Well, that's the switch. Let's just go into stealth. Let's see if I can disarm you. Failed to disarm. It's only a 20% chance. Can I just keep trying? Ah, oh, come on. Well. Oh, you V. I like that things just kind of fall in half. That part's kind of satisfying. Man, you are slow. Holy shit. Just kite. Yeah, this is no uh, shadow tactics. I have seen Adam RPG. Yeah. Adam RPG does look very good, especially now that it's finished with early access, but. Yeah, it's uh, Adam RPG is indeed a turn-based game. It's more akin to. Um, can you not heal me up to full? I'll heal myself then. Shadow Tactics seems much more akin to like a, um, or not Shadow Tactics. Um, Adam RPG is more of a like wasteland type thing. But you know, we're just giving this a shot. I don't know if we'll stick with it, but. Just having a peek. So far, it seems okay. I don't know how much I could recommend this, but it certainly seems okay so far. I feel like this is a game where I need to get a little deeper into it to actually know if I like it, you know?
Like, this is certainly ambitious, if nothing else. You also have a gun. Is that rusted? Yep, same slingshot battery. It's only a 62% hit chance. I feel like if you start abusing the pause in this, this could get pretty cool. Let's see if I can use these windows. I wonder if noise is a viable thing. I can go into stealth. Swap over to the swing weapon. See if I can get close to this guy. Okay, so I guess that's like noise. Things can hear me over there. Pause would literally be a superpower in real life? No, totally. Just go smack you to death. Pause quite literally is a superpower. Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm less interested in um, turn-based games. But I'm very interested in real-time tactics games. If they're good, that is, of course. Oh, you bay. Well... Okay. Reload at that save point that we had. Reminder to save every now and again. Yes, noted. <laughs> I know that now. Oh, Steam is still unreachable. Steam has just notified me. Not with a bang, quite literally. So I guess kill a dude, save, kill a dude, save, kill a dude, save is what you want to do. There is, like, a mine pretty close to here. Well, that's one down. Oh, Apparently I can step on uh, landmines while stealth. For some reason I thought I could walk around them if I could see them. I was kind of hoping I could kite this person. And the AI doesn't... Oh, I see. You move a lot faster if you've got the melee weapon equipped. Okay. Counter-Strike tactics. All right, heal me, please. Kill one dude, save. Kill one dude, save. Kill one dude, save. Yeah, it kind of seems like that. I like that there's a load screen that starts for a second, and then it's just like, nah. All right, can you heal me? Can you heal me more than that? I mean, it's almost like old games are awful game loops, often. <laughs> because we've learned from our mistakes from the past. This game seems charming at its worst. I don't know how much... Oh, hey, F1 to jump to your character. I don't, I don't know... Um, if that's a nice thing to say necessarily, but... Let's just run away from you. See if I can get a shot in. Alright. Save. Oh no, totally. Completely agree. Can you not heal me anymore? Guess not. So tapping F1 jumps to your character. I do. I am quite charmed by this game, regardless of uh, how good it seems to be. I'm charmed by it. What, if stuff died instantly? I mean, you never know how good your gear's going to be. 
Although, I think that this is a game where you're going to end up with multiple characters, right? So if you're going to end up with multiple characters, you're not going to want it to be like one-hit kills, you know? I'm sure there's a hotkey to save. Quick save. F7. Okay, so yellow means that they'll detect me inevitably. I really need a grenade or five. That last room's gonna have a ton of people in it. We know that. Anywhere where I can obviously see in there? Yeah, there's no way up and over either. Well, there's a landmine right there. <laughs> Wrong button. 10 HP. Uh... Keep the light weapon. That was my bad. I forgot to swap weapons first. Let's heal. LaFonda! What did I do to deserve that? Thanks for gifting 10 subs. Holy shit. Hi, LaFonda, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for the kindness. I appreciate You got dethroned again, Banana. Are you happy? Uh, they did talk about controlling allies, and then they're, they're, you controlled the dog in the tutorial, so I am assuming that there is multiple characters that you'll control. I mean, you were also building stuff in the tutorial, so... Also, for whatever it's worth, I was trying to, um, I was trying to, um, shoot that landmine, but I obviously, um, you know, uh, meleeed it because I didn't have the melee weapon. The dog was manning the turret of the, of the, of the armored vehicle, so. Uh, switch. We found the switch. And uh, quick save. Move out. But thank you very much, LaFonda. I, I gather it's payday or something. <laughs> but thank you very much for the kindness. Let's go talk to Jeff, who for a second there I thought was that corpse, but no. Let's go talk to weird shirtless dude with beard in Icon that doesn't have beard in game. See, note he, he has beard in Icon, but not in game. Hello. I found the switch. It looks like that didn't open the door. I noticed, but I heard something over the corner. Maybe check it out? Okay, goodbye. I don't trust this guy. Unlocked door. Okay. Oh, hey, he's following me now. There's roasting meat and a mutato over there. Okay, why doesn't he shoot at this guy? Stab, stab, stab. More roasted meat, excellent. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this meat. Am I supposed to be eating it? I don't actually know. Pear. Am I supposed to eat it? Maybe I just sell it. I don't know. Not payday, just sitting on some money. Well, thank you for chucking some of that money that you're sitting on at me. Did you find it under the pillow in your sofa? I used to do that back when I had a sofa that had pillows in it.
All right. I can't even hit him from here. I feel like once you get more options, this game gets better. Because in the tutorial, it looked pretty fucking cool. Uh oh. All right, let's go back to Jeff, who I think was back over here. Wait, why is it the second worst day of the week? It's the first day I stream. It's okay, they're punching Jeff. And he seems to have way more health than me. And he's also healing me. So if I just stand here... <laughs> if I just stand here, he can tank the hits and uh, also heal me. I like this. This is a good arrangement. There's another mutato. Let's take those two mutatoes. I'm just like carrying steaks and mutatoes. Meat's rare here, remember chat. And I'm walking around with steaks, so they're definitely not getting those from uh, cows. You thought it was Monday for a bit? Well, I mean, I wouldn't be streaming if it was a Monday now, would I? Also, why did that button all the way over there unlock this door? Which seems to have, like, nothing in it. Oh, I see. There's another switch. This is very advanced technology for uh, this kind of place. Did it say ask Jeff for help? Hmm. It's okay. We got this. Let's go talk to Jeff. There's some people at the campfire, was there? Because I definitely walked right past that. Meat is probably people. Meat was probably people, now it's just meat. Hello. The gate is open. I wasn't sure you would make it, but now uh, you're going back to my camp. Now I can go back to my camp, yay. Wait, I need your stuff and a camp, and I need you. What? Uh, let's build a camp together. Why don't I just beat him to death and take his shit? That seems like only one mouth feed. Um, we increase the odds of surviving. Let's keep each other alive. I don't trust this person at all. That sounds fair. What should we? What should I do now? Cook? Uh, you are the cook, but more, but no more human flesh. Uh, I, I will get some other meat for you to cook. Oh, oh, okay, goodbye. I'm just going to write the story off in this game and play it purely as a tactics game as soon as that's an option. <laughs> just to be clear. Because so far, eh, like, there, there, there is possibility that the gameplay in this could be cool. Um, I like how they have little, like, lanterns and shit. But, um, maybe base building? Maybe base upgrading? Because, like, the more upgrading, uh, the more uh, blah, 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 the cooler weapons do seem like a lot of fun. Don't even know if I need to explore all this shit. I should just save. I love how it's expecting me to have a slower computer that can't just instantly load this shit. It's like... <laughs> Got that weird sound hit on it. I need backup! Not that you'll get it, though. A toilet plunger. Very effective weapon. Ooh, a large wooden crate. Please have gun. Um, incendiary nade. That'll work. No, no, I definitely have meats. Oh, did did it? Is there meat in the campfire? Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. Roasted meat. I mean, maybe they are just people that fell in campfire. 
I don't even know what the meat is for yet. I'll be honest. Maybe it's like a form of currency. Like, I don't think I can eat it. Because there isn't like an eat button on the meat. I can compare it. I don't seem to be able to use it. Oh, wait, hold on. I just leveled up. Does eating meat level me up? No, okay. Eating meat just heals you. You double click the meat to heal it, to use it. And then it heals you. Okay. And I, I've also leveled up. There's a blinking button down there. Ooh. That's a holy shit. That's a lot of character points. All right, cancel. Well, it looks like it actually takes a lot of points to do anything. These traits? Let's just be faster. Uh, I don't know what I need. I love that it will just let me level up stuff that I can't actually level up yet. Let's level up medicine. And... Can't do max HP. Can't do regen. Running speed? Nope. Literally can't do anything. Okay, so it feels like you have a lot of points, but you really don't. <laughs> Hiding broke Kenshi. Yeah, I mean this. This actually, the combat in this feels a little bit like Kenshi, which isn't a good thing. But I like the visuals in this more than Kenshi. It's got a bit more of a style to it. Oh, interesting. You can set when you open fire. Yeah, true. Kenshi is designed to be. Also, I'm just saying we're at we're at 399 subscribers. One more to get get to 400. But uh, seriously, chat, thank you so much for all of your generosity today. Today has been my best day so far this month, from what I can tell. So, I I really just want to eat Jeff. <laughs> Good to see you, friend, who definitely didn't kill and steal my child. Uh, <laughs> player, why do you want to see me? That's that's a good question. <laughs> Good to see you. Why do you want to see me? Uh, what's a cook without cooking? Uh, if you find your daughter, you'll need all your strength. Uh, and I am hungry as well. Uh, get me some meat and I'll cook it. Tell me more. Uh, I've marked a spot on your map. Leave the camp here. Okay, fine. Let's go get the stuff for Jeff. I'm, Chat, I just want to ask you a question. Are you okay with me skipping all of the dialogue? No, uh, my daughter has been kidnapped and I have amnesia because video games. Cannibals spread a lot of sickness, but what if I'm down with the sickness? Ooh. Okay. I mean, it hasn't been a engaging up until this point. Also different weather and time of day. I thought that you just marked a thing on the map. Okay, leave the camp. Leave the camp and travel to a new spot on the map and kill frog pigs and get 10 pieces of meat. All right, let's go get, let's go kill frog pigs because they don't have souls and, ki and get 10 pieces of meat. That's a very small mini map. 
Ah! Kidnap child and amnesia. We're two for, we're two for two on the uh Check out Strange Gate, okay. Alright, so we're like down in the little corner of map. What the heck is that? I guess that's a frog pig? I wonder if this game also has man bear pig. Wait. Well, I can out I can kite them. They're kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. Like look at them. They're kind of cute. Look at that face. So I guess they're like aquatic pigs. Oh, that's a fast frog pig. I get chat. We should just eat people because these are too cute. <laughs> Crippled groin. I, I'm shooting it in the head though. <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess directional damage is more di up to dice rolls. All right. So these stakes that I'm collecting do look suspiciously like frog bear pigs or frog pigs pig frogs froggy pigs froggy pigs i think i should have just like cranked the difficulty up to hard i'm gonna go on a limb here right now although maybe this is one of those games where it's like on normal difficulty it's like doable on hard it's bloody fuck off impossible uh I'm getting those really good dice rolls here All right. You know, th to me, this this game feels like one of those games where, since it's the current year, there's probably better games out there. But if this came out in like 1999, this would be the greatest game ever made. You know what I mean? I, maybe I should just smack it. <laughs> yeah, it definitely seems like the right choice. get 10 pieces of meat. How many pieces of meat am I at? Four. Okay. I should really just level up movement speed because, man, I move slow. <laughs> I like how they just, they show up as empty. <laughs> Frog pig, Empty. <laughs> Empty, because I've emptied all of the meat. So I don't know. Like when I play games like this, like I kind of need to, I need to give it a little bit of a chance. I think. Like this is definitely a little quirky, but I could see this being really entertaining. They don't attack very fast, so you can just, like, range and tell. I kind of wish that you could see, like, the the, the, the the movement route when not paused. Because, like, this is pretty good, those little footprints, but... that emptiness? What do you mean? Like the game feels kind of empty? Yeah, a little bit. I guess that's my alternate objective is check out the strange gate. But I mean, it is kind of an apocalypse, so. This thing has real crap range. Would it be overkill to use incendiary grenades? I just want to know if I get cooked meat from them. I'll be completely honest. That burns for a long time. Nope. Does not cook meat, Sag.
I mean, I got the grenade for free. And by free, I mean I killed somebody for it. So, definitely a fine trade, IMO. Well, my cooking skill is really low. Maybe I need to level up cooking. Well, it hit me. Yeah, melee is definitely the way to do these guys. I've also heard that sound effect somewhere before. <laughs> you could just gather them all up for a single grenade. You know, you're probably not wrong. This is not the best first impression, I'll be honest. Not terrible, but... <laughs> Damn, that thing hurt. It's just quickie heal. Wait, what? I don't remember there being a... Okay, man, they're, they're just respawning. Or no, they're not respawning, but there's just a lot of them now. All right, well, let's just outrun them. Gate locked and indestructible. All right, where's the switch? Sounds like Steam Chat. Yeah, kind of, actually, now that you mention it. Is that just like a fog of war, or is that just a... Oh, it's a hole. Oh, well, I killed one. How nice of the game to pause when I'm here. Let's eat that snail cookie. So I guess this is just like a stuff mission, so you're going to have to go out on missions to, like, replenish supplies, I guess? Good thing I leveled up movement speed. Oh, hey. Sweet. They're following me. <laughs> Juked! All right. Well... Hmm. The important question is, how the heck do I open that gate? The hole of depth is a mystery. It seems like that, yeah. Wait, they, there's a lot of them right there. <laughs> okay. Well, they don't cer they certainly don't seem very smart. Maybe I was still stealthed when I walked past that one. Okay, now I'm stealth. Are they like worshiping the pig things or do Oh no, the pigs are going to go worship. Are they intelligent? Oh no, they're intelligent. Am I supposed to feel bad now? Because um I don't. Oh, I'm crouched. That's a bad thing. Stand up. Hmm. I have a problem. <laughs> I've kind of, uh, I used my grenade too early, I think. Oh, hey, there's a small wooden crate. Let's run up here and grab the small wooden crate. A toilet plunger and, I mean... I'm not gonna lie, that seems kind of like a waste of my looting time. Uh, 
Uh, yes to all four, I would say. I'm just gonna walk away, because I, like, don't really have the firepower to fight. I mean, I could probably kite them to death, which is probably what I should do, right? Pig warrior. Oh, jeez. I didn't even realize they were, like, different sized. I mean, I already grabbed their treasures, so. Just gonna run away. Still don't unlock that. How do I unlock the weird gate? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's just bleh, run through this. There we go. They don't seem like much of a threat, I'm going to be honest. But uh, let's figure out where that exit is. Ch oh, do I have to check out the strange gate? Can I check it out without actually opening it? Watch my HP. Oh, I checked it out. I get it. <laughs> what could be behind this gate? Oh, I'm fighting things. Some kind of Steam chat? Well, I mean, maybe they all just use Steam to, to, to communicate in the far future. You never know. Maybe they're just using Steam to communicate in the future. The slingshot has muzzle flash? Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it definitely, definitely does. Back home to cook meat. When they click save, click load. We need to try that. Definitely um, an impression. I, I I would like to give this game a bit more of a shot. I think, but uh, I think we'll we'll do one more mission, and then uh, I've been streaming for like ten and a half hours. So at that point, I think that's good. That gate. Yada yada, yeah, about that game, what's behind? It's still intact, I, I know what's behind it. What is it? Meat! <laughs> I love my options. Okay, oh, I guess these are all dialogue options. Uh, valuable resources, we can use them for our base. Uh, you should get them, I have never been there myself. It looks dangerous. You know what's funny is because of the way the map is designed, I could like, it looks like I could just walk up and around the geometry with a little bit of uh, ingenuity. Uh, it's too dangerous, but I do know the code. Okay, we'll get the resources. Meat! Looks really fresh. What now? Uh, I'll cook every piece of meat you give me. Cooked meat is good for your health. Uh, you should eat some whenever you feel low. Cook this meat times one. Do I have to kick, click all of the buttons individually? Uh, have you opened the gate yet? All right, so go open the gate. It's considered transient, so it's very rarely written to saves. Well, no, noted. Oh, only for the extra meat. Okay. 
Oh, hey, I found a world map. I do like the times of day, though. Lighting's nice. I mean, obviously, I'm just going to run straight for the thing. Oh, something. Co Chat, I think that the, the, the frog pigs closed the, closed the gate. How dare they? The fence gate, that'd be. They can still see me. Well, now they can't. All right. Stealth is kind of neat, too. Dungeon. Yeah. Oh, I closed it. You'd think he would have um, told me that that the code before I left. Yeah, kind of. It's but it's just the only people that seem to be here are the the weird pig people. Tiny scrap pile. What, the, the, the frog people seem to be more, uh, the frog things seem more advanced than the humans? I mean, I tend to agree with that. Also, kilograms carried. Where am I carrying all of this in my body? I don't have a backpack. If I had a backpack, I wouldn't be annoyed by this, but like, somehow I'm carrying two knives, a toilet plunger, a bunch of band-aids, uh, lock fucker 1000 with a V, um, an, um, an, uh, uh, an army med kit, a mutato, a small cookie, a limb pack, a tiny scrap pile, a nano pick, roasted meat, a bunch of roasted meat, obviously. Not even all of the roasted meat, just some of the roasted meat. A multi, th like, where am I putting all of this? Like, I look like a relatively fit lady. Whoa, 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 everything just changed. Sewer dwarf? They are, I mean, based on their idols, they do seem pretty ascended. Are, Chad, am I fighting children mutants? Naturally. They're also naked children, sewer mutants. This is a video game. Well, time to fight the sewer children. I just want a weapon that's cooler than the slingshot with muzzle flash. All right. Well, quick arrow. Better than a slow arrow, I suppose. Oh no. They have acquired a new skill, rock. Next, they're gonna discover the skills of paper and scissors. You'd think that they would pick up the scrap piles and whatnot. You know, now I'm picking up cooked meat from them. I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say that, like, that tutorial, 10,000 times cooler than this early game. Um, I don't know why... They've given me such an abilities here, but I don't mind an abilities. Like, it's fine. Like, tease me about stuff that I'm going to get later, but... 
take, oh, I can't take the regen. Can I just move speed? Yeah. Like, I wonder if that's stuff that I'll get by the end of the first few, two, few missions, but, like, I'm, you know, like, two hours into this, and the tutorial was, like, not that long. Um, like, I know that there's, like, skirmishes in this. I mean, it doesn't seem focused on extended learning. Like, this isn't learning. This is just boring. <laughs> like, I'll be honest. This is this is just boring. This is not learning. This is boring. Give me a rifle by the end of this mission, or um, I'm losing a lot of interest here. I mean, maybe the skirmishes are fun. I mean, admittedly, that's, like, the majority of what I did in a lot of RTS games growing up. Like was playing skirmishes. I mean, maybe that's what this game needs, is just a skirmish, but... But this is not interesting. Well, I mean, it's not even that it's flawless. It's like, my hands aren't, like, I'm... I've got my hands behind my head. Oh, hey, they knocked me over. Okay, they staggered me. It's fine. I, still got, I, got, I got 81 HP. Oh, hey, that one's running away. Come back. Like, this isn't engaging. So, I mean, I'm not sure what the point of this is. Like, sure, let, let, let me go travel out to find gear. Let me go travel out to find guns <laughs> or, like, ammunition for guns or something or more grenades, but, like, I'm not I'm not totally sure why it's like all right go on super petty boring mission and come back with me you know so yeah to find find plungers exactly like maybe you've got like a lot of base building like th this game could be awesome but at this rate I'm not going to make it through the early games <laughs> I mean may maybe just like pause this and go try the uh skirmishes and see if the skirmishes are more interesting but Yeah, like, g give me something that's cooler than this single-shot slingshot, you know? Like, there's a lot of really interesting tactics in the, um, in that tutorial, but they're not letting me use any of them, you know? Like, as I said, this game could be awesome, so I feel kind of bad, like, just giving it a negative response and I'm getting achievements for killing okay so I've killed a hundred people a hundred things I've killed um, oops I keep on accidentally All right, let's just quick save real quick. And then this AI is just doing this. I don't know, man. Brah. Okay. That's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. I also leveled up. Uh, I'm going to save. Did you just one shot me? Uh, it just one shotted me. 
So I guess we run away from you. Um... All right, well, let's just walk away from you. Bruh, okay. To be clear, I got 61 HP. Uh, loot all. Equip that. Let's just save. Yeah, get loot and run, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I even leave yet? I don't. I, have I collected ten resources? They do seem a bit faster than me. Yeah. Maybe I can level up my move speed. Yeah, they can't quite get an attack off, though. Okay, let's try just auto-saving and see if I can fight you. Maybe this is... Nanopack, nanobot infusion designed to heal minor wounds. Definitely seems like she won just one shots me. Or two shots me, basically. Yeah, maybe uh, let's try using that kick. This just got a lot more interesting. Uh, what was the kick button? What was the kick button? Very important question. Forced fire, stop, switch hands, stealth, hold fire. See, like, the problem is, is, like, push kick, E. Also, saving and reloading. Hold on. Def, reloading my save definitely reloaded my gun. Uh, well, I missed the kick. I definitely missed the kick. Huh. Okay, well, I didn't miss the kick that time. Well, I friendly fired the dwarf thing that was in front of me. All right. Oh, hey. I made it away. It seemed to have de -aggroed. I like how eating steak is the same animation as using a bandage. <laughs> I just, I really enjoy that for some reason. There's something funny about that. Oh. Nip. Um.
Let's just kill you. Yeah, there's definitely a difficulty spike there. I'm just, I guess, not entirely sure what the game wants me to do here. Concussed. Wow, that did a bunch of damage. Seems to be able to get a bunch of free hits in when they're on the ground. Huh. Let's heal myself. Does he stay in the stumble animation? I, I need to try on a smaller enemy, but we can try. There's definitely limited ammo on the, the bow. Nope. Oh, well, I missed, I missed with the kick. There's another uh, frog statue. All right, so the Valkyrie can... So we, we've gone from enemies that are like a non-threat to enemies that can one-shot me, basically. Uh, well, the, the, I didn't, it's been a, I, I may, maybe it's, it's hard. It's kind of hard to tell. I'll be honest. Yeah. I, it's, it's just kind of hard to tell what's a threat and what isn't. Menaces with spikes of difficulty. That's for sure. Menaces with spikes of questionable balance decisions. That's also for sure. I will be honest, the fact that the game suddenly started killing me made the game a hundred times more interesting. Also, it looks like that I sometimes just have straight knockback chance. Hmm. I also kind of wish that the uh, camera just rotated in an isometric format instead of free cam. Maybe it's, it's possible to lock it, I don't know. Yeah, it's like non-difficulty and then dead. I'm still like trying to figure out like how far into the game that um, tutorial stuff is though. That tutorial stuff, quite interesting. Everything since then, eh. Let's see if I can get in here, loot that and get out. Let's see if I can get out now. Yep. Can I close that door? Oh, darn. Oh, no, they crippled my groin. Um, I shall... Can't get over the fact that it's called a lock fucker. Oh no, I've lost all of my movement speed because they crippled my groin. Um, because I keep finding them. So they I'm moving fast enough that they can't actually hit me. Hmm. Well. Uh, huh. <laughs> Let's see. Where is there any other loot around here? Oh, 
There's my exit. All right, let's just walk to the exit then. Come on, kids, let's go home. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go uh, save. We're going to try a skirmish. I just want to see what a skirmish looks like. Turn the resources to the cook. See, cook is a much better name than Jeff. They should have just called him Cook. If they just called him Cook. That would have been infinitely better. Let's see, what are you going to do? Good. Here's the resources. What do we need now? Architect. I have to go free the architect. I'm going to save. Save. And exit to main menu. All right, let's just see what a skirmish looks like. So there's official content and player-made content. Is this multiplayer? St Hold on a second. It says single player. Rocky Ridge, solo mission, confirm. Uh, let's just pick something that looks cool. You've got a thing that looks cool, drag care. See, like, this is what I mean by, like, this is, this looks cool. Like, all of this looks really cool. Solo mission, yeah, but you have a team of dudes. Th this, this looks cool. This looks really cool. Also, hey, Zalser, what's up? Also, indeed, holy Fallout 2, Batman. At least visuals. Okay, what are we up against? Okay, so you've got, like, a melee weapon. Let's just run you into... Although, there is friendly fire. But we seem to all kind of have beat sticks. Yeah! See, now that I like. See, now, th this looks... This is significantly cooler. Actually, you you just go there, because you're kind of like an Overwatch guy. Like, this is already a thousand times cooler than everything that I've done in the rest of the game. So I don't... Man, I, I don't know how I feel about this. It seems like they've they built a really cool combat system, but, like, don't know how to design a... There's also a fucking tank there? My god. Do I have to repair it? I... Uh, why don't I have any of this shit yet? I suck at heavy rep weapons. Well, okay. Who, who's good at heavy weapons? Who's got what I would consider to be a heavy weapon? Also, we all took damage. <laughs> like, I'm definitely going to die before I get to the end. But this looks so much cooler. Yeah, there's fucking vehicles, dude. 
Like, the, all of this was in the tutorial. Um, watch me just run over all my guys and kill them. Eh. It's also out of ammo, so that's, you know, good. But I can still... It's not stopping me from ramming into shit. There's tanks and active paws and shit, you know, like... They're... Like, look at that! Oh, we're just hitting landmines left and right. Like... Eh. It's definitely crappy in regards to tank. It's also out of wep- it's also out of ammo, so, you know. Let's try and move you there and move you guys over here. Try and just get behind them. I think I should get these guys out of the tank if they're not dead. Oh, they got out of the tank. Well, that's helpful. There's also just a straight-up turret there. Yeah, it's like we're just beating up children in the campaign, whereas this is like, why couldn't the campaign start like this? There's also a lootable turret there. Also, I just friendly fired one of my own guys to death. That's This is fine. Uh, breach. Also, he's dead. Also, you're just straight up out of ammo entirely. Like, I guess I should be looting up. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing, right? So I'm just, like, running in here and fucking dying. But, like, I don't know. Like, and that was a landmine, I guess. So, yeah, I don't know. There, there's definitely something to this. But, man, that campaign is terrible. Like, let's just die to that landmine. There, there's definitely something to this. Right? And, like, I think that these, this skirmish map, like, proves that. But, like, good lord. Especially, like, even in multiplayer. Like, this could be really cool in multiplayer. Maybe I'll pester Evil Trick to see if we can play some of this in multiplayer and try it. But, like... They want you to work up to the cool stuff, but it would be nice to give it a bit sooner. I mean, even if they just started with, like, basic weaponry right at the start... No, this is a tactical combat game, but like, like literally, that's what it sells itself as, is like a tactical combat game with pause. I don't know, I, I want to give this more of a chance, but like... I don't know. Yeah, I mean... We'll try this again on another day, but for me right now, like... I need a bit to get that slow ass start out of my mouth. Cause there is something here for sure. There is definitely something here. There is definitely something here. But man, that that's that start to that campaign is brutal. Anyway, um I've been streaming for eleven hours, so I think we're gonna call it. That was rough. That was rough. Like, you'd think that, like, a, 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 a campaign is supposed to sell your game, right? Even if you're giving the campaign as, like, a tutorial. Have a little bit more faith in the player, I guess. Instead of just, like, mind-numbing enemy, enemy that two-shots you. Mind-numbing enemies, enemy that two-shots you. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Anyway, tomorrow we're going to be uh, taking a look at some Timberborn. Because uh, I have a bounty for it. So we're going to be playing some of that tomorrow morning. Um, so there probably won't be dwarfs tomorrow, but there will definitely be dwarfs on Thursday. Thursday is a news day. I'm gonna go do some editing on that Dungeon Man's video after streaming for 11 hours. Thank you everybody for all the support today. 
Like, seriously, all the gifted subs and everything and all the bits, you guys have been nuts. Um, thanks for spending time. There's something here, and I don't know what it is, but there's something here. So, thanks for spending time here in this stream. Let's find somebody that we can send you guys over to. Um. Also, we're going to try and play some more of Orion tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, Steam unfucks itself. Uh, who can I send you guys over to? Who's on? I'm going to send you guys over to Kairazi. I'm going to watch you play some Cogmine. You have a good night. See you guys tomorrow morning. Take care of yourself. Say something nice to somebody and uh, eat an apple. It's good for you. Peace.